That is alarming. Is this what we're going to? Trash? Welcome back to the channel and today we are at it again with another great vlog here in sunny Florida. So we're about to go inside here to the Home Depot because I need to look at the cabinetry and see what they look like specifically. I'm looking at getting a shaker style, I think, or maybe a traditional style. I, I just don't know. I need to look at them in person though before I go about ordering them, all the cabinets and stuff for the kitchen. All right, so here's the Home Depot. They've got the garden center over there, but we're gonna go in the main part here. I wanna look at those cabinets and see what we can do. Oh my, look at all the lights. I need to figure out what I wanna do for the lighting in the dining room. Well, it's technically a dining room, but I don't think I'm gonna put a table there. There's also that area in the kitchen that I'm gonna put like a small table, like a round table. I don't know. There's. These are all kind of basic, like ceiling lights there. Really need more of a chandelier. Ooh. You know what I like? I like these, those like ones with the rattan on there and the basket weave. This sort of macrame, bohemian, 170. It says new. Yeah, like that one. I guess you call that a drum shade. And then there's that one there, 189. That's, um. I don't like that one as much. I think I like the one up top there because it has a curved top, sort of like rounds off, whereas this one is more like like a band. I like the softer lines of that one up there, the 170 one. There's also this other one for 119, but that looks a little bit like a basket. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it just looks kind of, I don't know. There's all this other kind too, these, these, these like square ones. There's a white version of it, kind of, 170. I don't like the white one. No. What I would really like to do is like a Sputnik style for the what's supposed to be the dining room, but like more of a low profile, so it's up higher. Oh, there's all the fans. I don't think I need a fan right now, a ceiling fan. There's lots of ceiling fans in the house. The only one that could be updated is in the living room. It's let's see if they've got it here it's basically just a white one it looks like that that's essentially what's in the doesn't that look old that looks so dated but it's apparently new you buy it right here wow that's weird i would have thought i would have thought it was like old and like that one maybe this is ceiling fans though for you they don't update them because like what are you gonna do it's blades and white things okay Fans are kind of ugly if you think about it. They're just kind of ugly to look at. Okay, here's the kitchen department. So this is the Hampton Bay Designer Series. It's interesting. It's like, it's like molded in there nicely. Soft clothes. I would get that in white though. That's nice, the Designer Series. Okay, and this one, well, I don't want that, but there's that one. Let's see. Oh, and they do countertops too, solid surface. I don't know if I would have them do the countertops or if I would find a company to do it. This one here is like really popular, Ice Queen. I see that one a lot. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind something with a little bit more movement throughout, and it would be in a quartz. I know Cambria does a lot of stuff like that, Cambria quartz, where there's nice big movement through. I don't, I don't know, I'm just feeling something a little bit more organic looking and not stark and basic and plain. I understand that's really popular right now, but think in terms of like, I don't know, like a beach, like an ocean. Neutral, very neutral, not, nothing that's like gonna scream in your face or anything. But like, look at this. That is similar, but maybe tone it down a tiny bit and get rid of these splotches like this realm down here, but lighter. Maybe a little bit more blue in it. You know, ooh, kind of like this. This is very pretty. That has an interesting colorway to it. Like that. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be looking at um, cabinets. They've got these. I don't know what they call these though. There's this one. Okay, so that one is that. Then you've got this one. And then you've got that one. I assume these are all three different manufacturers. 
storage feature inside. Storage feature inside. Lots of storage features. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where's the name of these? Okay, this is what I was looking for. So these are the cabinets that are in stock. So luckily you can see like right in here what they look like. Okay, Hampton Satin White Wall Cabinet. What is this called, the style? Does it say the name that we want? Cabinet, I don't know. It doesn't say what they call this. Okay, I would imagine this is like a traditional style, kind of basic. That's not what I'm after. Okay, so I don't want that. What are these? What are you? Westfield Shaker, feathered white. All right, that's very timeless. That's kind of like what you see everybody do. Oh, what a stairs I see. I kind of like this one. So this is a good middle ground between the shaker and the traditional because it has this nice indent, this recess here. Recess. Has this recess. Oh, that is alarming. Is this what we're going to? Trash? That looks unfortunate. Do, 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 do. I don't know. Oh, they call this Benton. Oh, Benton. That looks kind of neat. That's the one we were just looking at. Good old Benton for you. Benton white, but Benton is peeling. He got out in the sun. I don't know about that, Benton. Okay, so I just pulled up to Walmart and I've been thinking, I don't know about getting new cabinets if the new ones would be worse than the ones I've got. The problem is, some of the base cabinets are damaged and they do need to be replaced or fixed or something, the doors especially. And so I don't know how to do that. Short of going to like a cabinet company nearby and seeing if they can match the doors of the others to get the spacing correct. Uh, there's a couple other little damaged things that are on the bases, but assuming I paint everything white, I think a lot of that will just kind of fall away. And if I did that, then I wouldn't have to get all new cabinets. I mean, I don't know. These are things to think about. We'll, we'll, we'll see. All right. The thing is about the cabinets is I was looking really forward to having one of them be like the pull out trash can thing. I've never tried that one before, so I'm really excited for the pineapple version. Now, just gotta get some eggs. Or, ooh, handsome, handsome eggs. You look very handsome. All right, so look at those. We'll put those up front here so I can keep an eye on them. Don't want them to get in trouble. And now I need some water. We'll get a big one of this. There we go. That's a lot of water, 40 bottles. All right, next. I don't know of anybody else that really carries these, but they've got the peanut butter. Oh yeah, there they are, they're in the back. Mint, I'm gonna get a few actually, because well, yeah, I'll get, I'll get one more set of each. I like them. I have one of those every morning and they're affordable too, I think, cause they're like, what is it, $1.75 each? Calorie for calorie. Okay, next. Well, we got five potatoes. I know I'm not really getting anything substantial, like protein hardly, and that's just because I have not felt like cooking lately and I've been going to like random places. I vlog some of them. Like for instance, tonight I'm thinking about going to this Amrit Palace, which is this like Indian cuisine it says. So it'd be like rice and like a protein and stuff. We'll see, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna get a pineapple. The one I've got is ripening. About to have that one probably tonight. And then I'll have this one waiting in the wings. All right, now we're gonna head into two different places. We've got Beals Outlet here and this new grocery store, Bravo Supermarket. So it's gonna be a dandy of a day because we're gonna head into both of them. I'm gonna try to find shorts here at Beals and see what we can do. It's behind the palm tree there. See, Beals. Get a tiny little cart. Okay, let's see what we can do. Look at this, $15. I was struggling at JCPenney's. Oh, these are too big, 46, 48, hut, hut. There's some mediums. Okay, that's appropriate, $13. See, this is exactly what I was looking for in life. And look at that, even a zippered pocket on the back for all of your needs and some zippered sides. See, look at this. I don't know why JCPenney's couldn't accomplish that. 
they just I couldn't figure it out. Look at the salmon color. Oh, I love that color. It's a beautiful blush pink. We're getting that one too. See, nickel and iron. And look at these little ropey things here. Those are nice ropes. Yeah, tapered. It's a tapered leg. So good. Look at all these pants. We don't want them. Wow, there's no shortage. Look at all them shorts. All of them. There's just like military green. This is like static TV color. Oh, all kinds. Those are the smalls. I think medium is probably better. 32. Yes, it's more like this. I'm somewhere around 30. I think more. I think 33 fits nicer. Is it just this little tiny? It's right here. It's just these. This is all you get. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. That's lots of holes. That's from Forever 21. How much for a holy, a holy short? Holy short. Okay, no. No to that. Pants. Oh, those are pants. Oh, wait, there's more shorts over there. They are so good with their short selection. They're on point. Here's all the mediums. I didn't even notice. Look at that blue, the gray. I want something kind of fun. That green, no, that's too fun. There's like this home accents area back there we're gonna look at. Ooh, let's go this way. Petite tops, that's a neat chair. Nicole Miller, I went to school with a Nicole Miller. It's probably not the same gal. $400, you know what? That's not too bad. That's, that's a nice situation. You get inside of there and one day you'll hatch. Home accents. Now, I usually do vintage home accents. See, what we do, we get the vintage versions of all of these. And they're better quality, too. I mean, some of this is a decent quality, but the stuff that stands the test of time tends to be a little bit better. Look at that flamingo. I think it's a, yeah. See, that's just a print. It's a blurry thing when you get close enough to it. 35. Ooh, cushions. I don't need any cushions. Drapes. <gasps> pillows. Oh my gosh, pillows are so good to have. It feels pretty good. That's a good looking pillow. <gasps> Ooh, I like this with the flowers. Look at this bohemian style one back there. That is delightful. Full of all the delight you would ever want in your life. All of it, just right there. Ooh, tassels. A little tassel time. That's an interesting take on a pillow. They had fun with that. Salt life, starfish life. Beach, salty breeze place. I don't like words on things. It's just a personal preference. I I just, I don't know. I don't, we, we don't need to be so literal with our things. Could you imagine a house where every little thing has a word on it that says what it is? Like door, knob, cabinet, toothbrush. Do you see the colors? That is, I love those colors together. Oh, that's so nice. Compare at $15, it's $8 for this one. That seems very good. This is a great place to get a towel. And look at the, look at this. They have little clamshells. That's a beautiful pattern and you just feel it and you say, wow. And there's some florals down here too with some sea life some weeds in your sea. All right, now we're gonna head into Bravo Supermarket. It's pretty much brand new. I got both of these for about $28 combined with tax and everything, which if you can remember the last vlog, they were like $40 a, a piece. Ooh, this is busy in here, my goodness. Oh wow, this is so nice. Look at all the vegetables and fruits on the floor. This tree, green. Plantain, $2. Wow, that's so good. Look at all of that. All the cooking oils. My goodness. Fresh fish. Meat department is over there. Lots of, this is very nice. Everything is well stocked. Lots of rice. 
cookies, all sorts of things. Pretty busy though, it's a very exciting store. <laughs> wow, really a lot of people. Oh, we're gonna leave, look at this, is a bar with Oreos in it. Neat. La Mica, well, she's eating her lollipop, that's for sure. Oh, I see, they've got them already made. You just get the little bar, so there's the Oreo one there. Ooh, look, is this gelato? What is this? Oh, that looks so good. Bubble gum, is it like sorbet? I don't know. All right, just got home, and we'll let Stella out. Oh, yes, we will. I'm gonna have Panda Express. I decided that's what I was gonna do. We're gonna go to the Amrit Palette place another day in person. I've been talking about it for days now. You think it was like the best thing since sliced bread, but you know. Oh boy, it is a really nice day out. Mm. So nice. I've got my Panda Express. I have not had this in a long time. So I'm really anxious. We've got the fried rice, the lo mein, the, I don't even know what. I think I asked for Kung Pao chicken and something else. So, oh, I'm so excited. They put a lot of like little doodads in here. Hmm. I'm really anxious for this. It's gonna be so good. Well, it is much later. It's about nine o'clock and I just got done editing couple videos. Seems like that's all I'm doing on these vlogs. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I just finished editing. Uh, but it does, that's a big part of this. So I did that and those will be going up tomorrow. But I think I figured out the solution to something that's been troubling me with this whole kitchen situation. So I've mentioned it before, but we have these base cabinets down here that are not the same as what was original. So you can see there's like these doors and there's like no gap there so you can see there's no gap there no gap there there's a gap here between them come over here gap that's one cabinet by the way uh come over here that's one cabinet there's a gap between the doors and then also one cabinet there's a gap this is plywood they did not fix that i think this had been like leaked or something and they just got some cabinets so here's my solution I'm so excited about it. Let's pretend we just paint all of the cabinets. We keep them as they are, but we paint them. And this was the thing about getting all new cabinets is that, oh cool, now I can get like the trash slide out thing and I can get new, more drawers put under here. All right, so what we're gonna do is replace all of these. So just this one bottom section here of cabinets. What it's gonna be is a base cabinet here. That's gonna be the same, basically. On this side, I'm looking at getting two cabinets, an 18 inch and an 18 inch, and you put them next to each other. On one of the 18 inch cabinets, it's going to have a pull out trash can. Now they don't make them that way in the unfinished like this, but you can get the inserts that allow you to, um, basically it's like you open your door and you got a trash can. So. That's gonna be, if you can think of it this way, like that, like cut, cut this in half, that's that. It'll have a drawer on top too. That'll be like right there. This cabinet, just be drawers. So we're going from one 36 inch to two 18s next to each other. That also will accomplish this. See the gap? That gap is due to a cabinet ending and a cabinet ending. And so that, I, I will have a gap there. That will be fixed that leaves this one here. The doors themselves could be adjusted. Some take them to a woodworker, he can bring the doors on each side and then put a strip down the center. If I was handy enough, I could do it, but I, I'm i not a fine woodworker with like all of the clamps and the glue and the, all of the tongue and groove, dovetails, all that. I'm, I'm not well versed in it. Over here, I'm gonna leave the space for the this thing, but then there's this which is currently an unfinished plywood thing. What needs to go there is a 12 inch cabinet and they do make them a 12 inch cabinet with, uh, might just have like one small drawer and then a, a thin cabinet there, or like a door. So that's gonna solve the problem. The only thing that you would get in a, one of the newer cabinets as opposed to these is this gap 
would not be there. I think they're doing like these edged, full edge doors these days. That's very on trend. I don't know. This gives it more dimension. I'm going to make an argue and a counterpoint that this has a little bit more dimension and character than full edge doors. Whatever I can do to appease myself, really. But um, yeah, so painted white especially, it's going to go a long way. And they're wood. So they're not going to have a peeling situation going on. And by the way, obviously it's cheaper by a few thousand dollars, probably $2,500. Just doing a few cabinets instead of uh, all of them. So that's a bonus. Let's go in the bedroom where there's a little bit better lighting and I'm gonna catch you up to speed on what I did yesterday. All right, so yesterday was a heavy administrative day. I did a lot of mind numbing stuff. This is actually terrible light, but whatever. So I filed my taxes. I So I had to file an LLC which would be an S corporation tax for the business in Illinois yesterday. That would be for 2022. And then my personal return followed just after that. I got, so they're both done. So happy. All the money's been paid. Yay. I also, what was the other thing that I did that was important? I got my Florida driver's license. It is so exciting. So I have an official Florida driver's license now. And then I also have an official Florida license plate. I'm on the road. People, people be like, oh, there he goes, Mr. Florida. I know it. They're not going to say, oh, there's that Illinois weirdo. Mm -mm. Now it's, there's that Florida weirdo. So I'm really excited about it. So all that kind of like, gunk that I it was on my mind like oh I gotta do this and I gotta do that oh no I don't it's all done but I do have to do the ceilings I have to paint the ceilings so those sort of very annoying things are done I'm so happy about it you know this has been another fantastic day another fantastic vlog and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up now so thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe